Ford from 90s to upper 2000s. How to check an EGR and DPFE system with an oscilloscope. Here's a schematic for you to see. You can pause and look at it. Hook the test lead up to the DPFE. Black is a known good ground. Trace one to the signal return. Trace two to the trigger side of the solenoid. After you have all your leads hooked up, start your engine and go to your scanner at the functional test. Your DPFE pin connectors is pin one is five volts, pin two is negative zero volts, and pin three is your signal volt. Every time you hit your EGR solenoid, your DPFE voltage will raise to about 4.7 volts. And then when you turn it off, it will go back down to about 0.7 volts. Your EGR solenoid is a 12 volt system. So when you click on your solenoid, you'll have a Hertz come out. The higher the hertz, the more EGR flow will go through to the system, which will raise your DPFE voltage. Here's a better example for you. I will do both of them. On the yellow is your EGR. On the green is your solenoid. So when I click on the solenoid, you'll watch the EGR voltage go up. So you can exactly see how this works. So here's your solenoid on. There's your EGR going up. And when the solenoid goes off, the EGR goes down. This is a pattern of what the DPFE voltage will look like. So when you click it on, it will go straight up as you can see and then down. On this, you don't really worry about any glitches too much. On this one is your solenoid. Every time it goes down, the solenoid clicks on, which allows the vacuum to go to the EGR valve. There's many things that this can tell you. One is if your intake is bad, your voltage will not go up as high. Or if your CAD is bad, the voltage will go up immediately when you start it to a higher voltage. You can tell by looking at this pattern the different things that this can be cause or can affect your DPFE.